Today we're going to talk about the tricky little 30 to 40 yard uh, pitch shot or wedge shot. This, this shot can be so frustrating because it's easy to mess this shot up and not hit it solid. And I have a lot of people complaining that you know they hit this ball fat or they hit it thin. And the number one reason is for not staying down through the shot, not moving through the shot, and the fault is backing up and out of the shot because we're thinking about loft or getting the ball in the air and really we want to lead the shot with our body and most importantly we want to keep our hands moving through this shot if we're going to hit it solid so this is the fault and then that's when your uh, your buddies say that you decelerated or you or you raised up or picked your head up so what we're going to do we're going to use our putter because that, that really simplifies it, and then we, it allows us to start concentrating a little bit about a little bit more on, on how we're moving our body. So I really like to use putter in short game shots, especially lofted wedge shots, because it helps us recognize where we are. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it even easier. So I'm going to use my normal grip. I'm not going to use my putting grip, and I'm going to set up as if I were hitting uh, th with a wedge shot, and I'm not going to have any backswing to this shot. I'm just going to push this ball toward my target. So that keeps the hands moving toward the target and not allowing the head to pass my hands. So one more time. And that's about as far as I can make it go. If I wanted to make it go a little bit further without a backswing, I'm going to have to there we go. I'm going to have to rotate through that shot and move my body. It's okay to move your body. We're encouraging that. Number one fault I see is no body movement through the shot on short game shots. And most people are trying to keep their body still and they're doing a good job of it. We're going to encourage you to soften up, let your body move, let it be part of the shot. We need that balance, rhythm, and control of our entire body in order to get real good at this. So I graduate from the putter up to this seven iron and I'm just going to try to do the same exact thing. I'm still aware of my target. I'm just going to try to roll this ball, push this ball, no backswing, toward the target. You can see as I get loft, the, the, um, the ball can catch on the club face and kind of flip in the air a little bit. That's okay. Couple seven irons, and you know I'm just going to keep graduating. It's much easier with less loft. I'm sure you've already discovered that in your own short game shots. Once again, we're just encouraging a movement of staying down and through the shot, keeping everything moving. So with a nine iron, uh, I've, I've graduated up to a nine iron. I might start to add a little bit of a backswing in here, but I'm really focused on that through move that I did without a backswing. making sure that I stay through it and don't back out. Now careful, beware, once we get this sand wedge in our hand, we start to think lift helps scoop get under, but we're really focusing on the drill. I would tell you that if, if you try this the first try and hit it fat or thin, go right back to your putter. So same thing, I'm in here, I'm concentrating on moving through that shot, staying through the shot, letting the body rotate, set up, little backswing. So don't stay out of it. Be in front of it. 